Welcome to another Pixlet tutorial and this tutorial is going to look at one of the selection tools, the magic wand, which is here. Now this is one of a number of selection tools in Pixlr. There is the marquee, so if I wanted to select this bear, I can highlight that area that I wanted to select and then edit it or, or copy it or cut it. And there's also the lasso tool. The freelance lasso tool where I can draw a rough outline around the image and the polygonal lasso tool which is much more precise which takes a while to do. The type of selection tool you use depends on the purpose. For this particular image where there is a lot of blue background that I want to delete and replace with a different colour, the magic wand is the better tool because it's a a, a good tool for large solid blocks of color. So in this image, if I wanted to select the gray and remove it and put in a different color, I would use the magic wand for this because there's a, a solid block of color. The magic wand has some properties, a tolerance property and a contiguous property. You can set the tolerance value from zero to 255. The tolerance value matches the tone and colour. So if I was to select, say, 10 as the value, and then select this, it's going to select the pixels that match what I selected, plus 10 shades darker and 10 shades lighter. If I increase the tolerance value, and maybe make it 60, and then click here is a greater range so it's matched the pixels that I selected plus 60 shades darker and 60 shades lighter. The anti-alias is used to ensure that any edges that the magic wand selects are not jagged so you can usually keep that selected. Contiguous means that it's only going to select those pixels that are side by side so notice that I when I selected this one again, when I select the, the light grey there, that surely it should pick up all of this as well. But those pixels are separated by a red uh, rectangle because contiguous is turned on, which means it's only going to select those pixels in that range of, of um, colour that are side by side. If I turn off contiguous and then select this again, It'll select the whole range of grey. It doesn't select the red because contiguous is turned off so they don't have to be side by side. So you need to, in um, selecting your tolerance level, probably have a bit of a, a hit and miss at it before you actually get it right. So the first image we want to look at, the yellow bear. And in this one we're going to use the, the magic wand to delete the blue background and replace it with another background. Now using the marquee tool for this would be more difficult because yes I can select this and then I can cut that bear out but I still have to erase the blue around it so it's not the best tool for the job and whilst the, the polygonal uh, lasso tool might be the best job it would take far too long. So here I'm going to use a magic wand and have a guess 48 will try and turn contiguous off because they don't have to be side by side and then start from here. Uh, it selects 48 shades higher and lower than what I than the original pixels but it hasn't selected all of them so the tolerance needs to be greater so let's double it and try again. Now it's also selected some of the parts of that image that I don't want it to select. So 96 is too high. So turn on contiguous avoids it selecting anything in the eyes that was a little bit close to one of these shades of blue. Now it still hasn't selected at all so I could with the shift key add to the selection rather than increasing the, the tolerance I just want to add a bit more so if I select here click here hold the shift key a little plus there and that's selected the rest of that side 
and do the same on that side hold the shift key a little plus sign and now that has all been selected with the, the moving ants and now I want to delete that blue background so I'm going to go to edit and cut and now that background is gone and now I want to put in a red background so I'm going to change the color down here to a red and pick a shade of red then use the paint bucket to fill it and then save it well here's another image where I want to use the magic wand tool to remove the black background and create a new image from what's left the moon and use that image to combine with another image and some shapes and some text to create something else using the magic wands tolerance could be quite high contiguous would be on um, too high because it's selected the darker color in the moon it's obviously too high all right so tolerance of 33 after a bit of experimentation what i want to do is remove the background and leave the moon i'm going to invert the selection so now the moon is selected and then edit that cut so the moon has been taken out and i want to create a new image with that moon image so we close this one create a new image from the clipboard make it transparent so i can get other things into it just call it the moon okay so there's the a new image of the moon and it's far too big to do anything with so i want to resize it now so edit free transform and just move using the blue arrows just move uh, make it a bit smaller and just put it up in the, the top left there and apply the changes I want to create some some text and a shape here and make this like an image for some sort of project so I need to create a new layer let's call it shapes and select the shapes tool and I'd like a shape that's black a rectangle order size of five and the color of the order to be red so it picks up the red in the image so we could draw a rectangle shape then put some text on it so a new layer and the reason I'm doing new layers is so if I make mistakes I can delete the text without having to delete the shape as well so now I want to put some text on so tapping the text tool and then can select the, the font the size Let's just make it bold area will do make it a bit bigger use the move tool move it into place and now put a style on it so I'd like a drop shadow but I need another color so I'd like to pick one of the colors that are in this image so perhaps this green here so you can use the color picker tool to sample that pixel and there it is there and then get the hex code for it so copy the hex code select the text tool again and go back to styles drop shadow and I don't want black I'm going to paste in that hex code and then just change the properties up here so perhaps the distance needs to go here and then okay just before we save it on to merge all the layers into one make it one image so I'm going to flatten the image so I'm going to layer and flatten the image which merges all the layers together so now I've only got one and now cut that image make it a bit bigger 
use the marquee tool to select the image so we want the red border add cut it create a new image from the clipboard this one's called moon okay delete the old one so there's our image so what we started with was the full moon used the magic wand to delete the background and then created a new image with a whole lot of other things the final image we're going to use the the magic wand tool to select the blue of the sky and replace that blue sky with a gray sky so sometimes you can use the magic wand to select that part of the image that you want to keep because I want to keep the building but I don't want the sky and it's quite difficult to try and get around that all those edges and get the the building so select the magic wand tool the tolerance of 51 contiguous on and then hopefully all of that blue sky is selected invert the selection so that everything that is selected now I want to keep I want to keep the building and not have the sky so I want to edit and copy so everything that's selected is the building then create a new layer and call it building let's unlock the background layer and hide it and on the building layer paste so there's the, the building the sky is removed you can use the move tool to move the building down to the bottom now there's a tiny little bit of blue there but that's not not to worry now I'm going to add a new layer of the gray sky so open images layer gray sky and that has covered completely covered the building and you can see here it's covered it's the active layer so I won't rename that one that's the gray sky so all I need to do to show the building is move it above so that the gray sky now is behind the building and then save that now it's a building with gray sky so what we've covered today is how to use the magic wand tool to select solid blocks of color preferably and do various things with the image after you've done that selection